Hi, Bill here. Uh, I've just found this online picture. I haven't found any other pictures of him. Because you know how he comes with drag strip. That, that, that's superior on there. You know how he comes with drag strip. The ones we get just now. But I've found out. I wonder who that is. I know he's obviously one of the aerial bots. But I don't know the name of him. And we know he's not that dissimilar looking to one of the other jets. Like that jet there. So, because that's obviously his tail fins and his He's try to zoom that in. His tail sections, you can see the tail fins in the in the tail sections. I think they'll be up a bit like that. You know, the tail fins will be up the, the tail wings will be up against the tail fins. I think that's what that'll be doing. You can clearly see and that's his wing there and his nose code there. So I don't know who that figure is. Because I don't think they're all named after the G1. Aerial bots, all of them. Obviously, silver boat is, but I know the helicopter one isn't. I don't know about the other ones, other ones. So he may not have the same name as the other G1 aerial bots. I don't know. So anyone knows, they can comment below or let me know. I haven't seen any other pictures of that guy. I know he's doing wave two, and I've seen other uh, video reviews, and they say that the wave two will be quite a while away. Because you know, we're only get, just getting wave one just now, uh, and maybe a while before we get it. I know the internet will get it pretty damn quick, but the, the places like Toys R Us might not be getting it f for a while. So I'm wondering who that is. The other thing is, I wrongly identified these guys yesterday in my other video because I said they were the arms or the legs of the combiners, of the main combiner but they're not, they form the combiner's weapons so they're like arms micron or target masters, they're like them so obviously wind charger, thundercracker, uh, power glide and bombshell all form the weapons and you've seen that on YouTube videos anyway, you knew that already you know, I don't need, need you say no, you don't need you don't need you to spell it out for me. I already know that, but I just wrongly identified them yesterday, so I'm just correcting myself on on that mistake. So, but I'm still wanting uh, bombshell and power glide because they're still pretty cool. I don't care, but I don't care what what the hell that they form, <laughs> what that other alt mode is, but it's still pretty cool having these figures, especially having an Insecticon. Even if just just for, form a weird looking gun, the same with Power Glide. But I so that's deals with that. Um, uh, so that's what they do. They just form the weapons of the combiner, of the combiners like Superior and Menasaur and whoever else we're getting. Okay, so that covers that. I want something else. I want to talk about. I didn't talk about the other day there. Hi, that's me back. Hi. The other day I did a size comparison with War for Cybertron, Bruticus, obviously the same size, but yesterday you might have thought, hmm, I'm wondering, because these thoughts do enter your head and just on occasion, and you say, I wonder if you could take the legs and arms off of that and put them onto him, or Optimus Prime one, because they do have a similar sized uh, part there, a connector. And it does actually fit into there, but I don't think you can actually hold it in. See, it does actually fit in there. Oh, bastard. I've just... <laughs> He's doing the splits now. I'm trying to get that in there. It does actually fit in there. Uh, ho hold on to a sock. It does actually fit in there, as you can see. See, I've got it in. But it doesn't stay in. It just pops straight back out. So you can't really keep that in. It does fit in there, but it won't stay in there because it's not designed to stay in. It's, you can see how that's got the the try to get this to zoom in properly. You can see how that's got the grooves in there. I don't know why this thing's going a bit weird. I can see how it's got the kind of grooves in there. 
there's, there's kind of grooves in there. I'll try to focus this, but we're not focusing. It has actually got grooves in there. There, there you can see them there. Uh, that thing hasn't got the slots to fit these grooves into. That obviously does because it's part of the fit come part of the figure. And that has the, the slots for the grooves, but that doesn't. So it even though it does fit, you would have to hold all four of them in, and uh, <laughs> that that would just wouldn't be practical to try and hold all these things in. So yeah, it's definitely not. Uh, meant for that meant for other figures to use if you have any third party ones and you want to experiment and try even not with this one with the Optimus Prime one because I don't think he's got any definitive uh, set figures that you can actually use with the Optimus Prime one um, it's up to yourselves go ahead you know try and see if you can get them to actually fit in there and stay but because it doesn't have the groove for the slots, and that thing, that's what these grooves are, it may not stay in or hold. So that's what I wanted to talk about with that part of it. The other thing I want to talk about is you know how I said that was made of metal. I think it actually isn't metal, I think it's actually plastic. But it has that kind of coating on it. It makes it look metal. Yeah, that's better. It actually has that coating that makes it kind of look metal. It may be metal, because it does have a bit, of a bit of a weight to it, but it just feels like it's, it could actually be plastic that just has that coating and it makes it feel as if it's metal. Or it could be metal. If anyone can comment below what that actually is, if it's actual plastic. Because these bits there, the purpley bits round about it do look when you a close inspection does look does actually look plastic to me. It doesn't look metal. But but the bit below it with the shine on it actually looks metal. Looks like metal. The other thing I forgot to show the other day there, when it was in jet mode, and you've probably seen it in other videos, they showed it. Yep, it does have an a nose wheel that comes down. See? It does have a nose wheel. The jet mode. The other wheels are just moulded. Uh, I'll show you. They're just moulded on. They don't move at all. So I'll, I'll put his arm back on actually. So that is that. There's back, his arm back on. Can focus. There we go. So that's that for that. The other thing I want to show you is, uh, oh, ah, the other wee thing I want to show you, you probably know this already, see these antenna, they're annoying, is that tip there, is actually rubber too, just like the nose cone, so the tip there, so, so, so you wouldn't actually be sharp and poke someone's eye out with it or whatever, it's just, that's rubber as well, the tip there, just the very tip at the end of the aircraft. Uh, the other thing I want to show you, I'll show you in a minute. Hold on. Ah, oh, it's too white, man. There we go. That's it. Uh, I, before I show you that other thing I was going to show you, there's this annoying thing. These arms, down like that, get in, impede its elbow movement. You know, you try to move the elbow up, and these arms get in the road. Yes, you can move them out of the road, these arms, but it's going to look a bit untidy. Or you can uh, move the arms out and up that way at an angle. Same with that side. See the rockets get in the road of that arm coming up. It actually bends, but if you try to bend it further, you're going to have problems. So, again, you've got to put the arm out at an angle. Again, you can move these, but these normally are pegged in. You peg these in, it's when you're turning it into arm mode, it's, you know, to, to form the arm of the combiner, you normally peg these in, so you can unpeg them and move them however you want, it's your own personal preference, but these do impede the movement of the elbow to some degree, and same with that one, you can see it there, it's just, it's just getting in the road, 
So, uh, a slight design fault there, you know, that they could have made that better. Because you can't swivel that around and, <laughs> and move these out of the road because of the way that it's put together. You know, the way that you can't really sw swivel that around and the arm comes out straight. So, you do have to either move the arm and bring that up or make it come out at an angle. That's another wee problem. Now we're going on to the other problem I have with the figure. Ah, and now the other problem, I'm actually making it sit on the edge of this table. I don't know if you can see. See, it's actually sitting. and It's not easy to see with this arm on the road. You can actually make it sit. Why you want to is... <laughs> um, up, is, is again, it's up to your own preference. But when you make the figure sit, it seems to be leg heavy because it keeps falling forward. Every time I let it go, it just falls forward. I can't make it move because these bits are in the road uh, that's, it's fists so it can only go so far back but you think it's sitting as far back as it does see you think it's sitting as far back as it does it would stay but the it's, it seems to be offset with the, the weight of the legs and it just falls forward again it's your, it's your own personal preference you don't need to make it sit at the edge of a table but if you wanted to make the thing sit, sit down on the edge of somewhere on a shelf even though you'd rather make it stand, you're not going to get it to stay because it just keeps falling forward. So that's the other kind of problem. It's it's it hasn't get it's not easy. It's not it doesn't have uh, its weight distribution is off. It doesn't have a center of gravity when it comes to weight. It just seems to be leg heavy. So I'm wondering if that bit down there is actually made of metal. And maybe that is why the weight of the figure seems to be off. It's not centred. The weight of it's not centred, so it can actually sit up there on its own. But it's just not going to stay. See what I mean? Even though it is quite well onto the table, as you can see. Even though the, the, the fists do get in the road. So that's the other thing I want to talk about. You, like I say, you don't need to make it sit. I'm, 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 you can put it in any position you want. But it's obviously the weight distribution or centre of gravity, or the centre of weight, seems to be off in the figure, it seems to be mostly on the legs, because it certainly won't sit. You can try it for yourself, you don't believe me, if you get the figure. But I don't know if that's just down to drag strip, because that part there may or may not be metal, and that might be throwing the weight off, I don't know. But anyway, that, that's another little problem, I was, if you happen to make this figure i put this figure in that position. Uh, I'm afraid you're going to have it on the floor before you know it. <laughs> so, I just thought I'd bring that little point to your attention. Okay, you can comment below, which I know you normally don't, apart from one person. But I don't know what's happened to him lately. He doesn't seem to be commenting my previous video. I think he's actually uh, busy with other things just now, so I'm not going to be too hard on the guy. Because I think he he, he 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 may want these figures, although the ball joints and the fact the wheels come off drag strip and uh, it's got these circular uh, type joints that you can you can remove, but I think it's difficult to remove on this figure and the actual main body itself. So knowing that, he may not get it. Uh, but like I said, a few problems and a few corrections I had to make in this video from, from the previous one and a few other problems things I didn't show in the previous one that I thought I would just add in. Again, you can see that is going to be a problem. These antenna, because they're made of rubber, they won't stay up. If it was solid plastic, it would stay, but they don't. They just tend to ride back and down and flop. And You know, it's like when it comes to rubber parts and transformers. They just do tend to warp out of shape and whatever. Okay, I better go before this thing is, is as long as the previous video. That's, that's all I wanted to say about it anyway. Right, thanks for listening. Bye.